In today's video, we're setting up the 3D printed case feeder for the Hornady Lock and Load AP Reloading Press. You will need the 3D printed parts, of course, some screws you should have at home, a special M6 by 100 screw with nuts fitting the threading, two springs and some plastic tubes with an outer diameter of 16 mm. A detailed list is shown in the description below. First, the mount bracket is installed at the back of the press. The stabilizer can be installed on the base plate if you know where it is supposed to be. If not, you'll find out during the installation. Next, the lower slider is connected to the slider nose. During reloading you'll find out the perfect setting. The screw can already be tightened in a fixed position. Now a spring taken from a standard ball pen is required for the tube holder. The tube holder consists of two parts which are connected via a screw in combination with a spring. The pattern element is now connected with the upper body. For stabilization, a stabilizer is added. Check the length of the notches to find out how it's supposed to be connected. Next, the tube insert is connected with a collator dish. The lower slider is installed on the arm of the reloading press. Then the pattern element with the upper body is fixated in the mount bracket and the stabilizer. Afterwards, the platform is moved downwards again. Now the 9 by 35 mm spring is inserted into the upper body element, then the top slider is added from the front. To make the case feeder work automatically, the spring has to be compressed a little bit, then a screw can be inserted through the top hole of the slider. The screw will keep the spring under tension. The long screw is inserted through the hole of the tube holder and fixated with a nut. A second nut will be required shortly. On the back side of the top slider an opening is located. Here the long screw is inserted and fixated from the bottom. Now it's time to insert the first short tubes at the correct places. The required length can be easily controlled. The press should operate like demonstrated in the video. Now the case feeder can be tightly connected to the stabilizer. In the top tube holder a second short tube is inserted. Next four long tubes, approximately 25 to 35 cm, are inserted from the top and then the collator dish is added. Be aware, everything is made of plastic, don't apply too much pressure or you have to reprint the whole case feeder. Now the job is done, 
often the storage tubes can be filled with cases. Have a handload of fun! The link for the 3D printing files is in the description. There you can make a donation for the designer. And if you liked our video, you can buy us a beer by clicking on the PayPal link. And as always, like, subscribe and share.